You can only be two places at once. I am seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, and I'm here at the same time. Amen. You cannot be three places at once. So if you're driving down in the road in your car, or you're shopping at Walmart, if, let me say if you're shopping at Walmart and you're driving down the road in your car, and you're going to go get my Christmas present or my birthday present, help yourself. You don't have to clean your room. <laughs> You don't have to take time. Amen. <laughs> hey, we'll get by for a week. Give you out shopping for me. Amen. Hey, brother Amen, hey, that's good, brother, brother John. Amen. Hey, you like it. All right. If they were shopping for you, you wouldn't mind. But Jesus had to be there so he could prepare. Yes. In my father's house are many mansions. I go. Go where? To the place to prepare. So that you've got a place perfectly set up for you. Perfectly prepared for you. Right. Just like you need. You say, well, I'm a real tall guy. And I need a, instead of a seven foot door to get in, I need at least an eight foot door because I'm seven foot two. And I don't, I don't have, you know what, it'll be prepared where you can go through at seven foot two. But if you're a short guy, it doesn't need a big door. If you're a wide guy, it might need to be an extra wide door. I'm not trying to tell you. I'm telling you, he's prepared it just like what you need. He knows your needs. And he knows everything you need in heaven. And he knows everything you need on earth. I'm just trying to get you to understand there's some places. I just gave you five. That Jesus went. And we ought to go to those places with Jesus. Start now. There's a place we've got to plan. So that we can rest and relax. Even if there's ministry and miracles that we need to do while we're there. We ought to at least plan on going to rest, relax, and be refreshed. I, I went someplace the other day with the purpose of doing one kind of ministry. And I did it. But I was able to witness to some folks and tell them and answer some questions for some people, Bible questions, which is what I always want to do anyway. And I'd ask God. I said, I, I'm going over to minister to this one situation. But Lord, can you open up some doors? And one was open. Now how easy was this door open? Look how easy this door was open. Alright. A man gets a cookbook for his birthday. A hunter's cookbook. And his name is not Hunter. And let me say, Hunter can't cook it's too well. He can cook bacon and eggs, and that's about all he can cook. Uh, but Don Henry can cook anything but sourdough bread. Mine look better than either one of them tastes good, but that's beside it. But he got this Hunter's cookbook. And in it, it had Bible verses. So you know what? He says, Uncle Richard, you know this Bible verb? And I said, I do. And I quoted this one. He said, what about this one? I said, uh, started out from a little bit like He started out. I, there was a few I didn't know off the top of my head. I'm thinking, because I'm not trying, I'm not thinking about those things. I'm not, my mind's not on those things. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to be instant in season and out of season. But 
I went planning to do one thing, hoping to have a chance to do some other, but planning on doing one thing. I got, and I got a chance to do it. I, I went to minister, and also I went out and I played golf. Not really. I just hit the ball at the drive line. And I said, because I know how to drive. So I said, I, I ought to be able to be good at this. I know how to drive. And uh, I didn't do well. But that's okay. Uh, what I'm trying to get you to understand is, you plan one thing, and my ch your plans might change. Don't get upset when your plans change. Look for the Lord in the plan changing your plans. That's what Jesus did. He planned to get away, to get refreshed and relaxed. But when the people came, he ministered and did miracles. So we need to go to the planned places. We need to go to the place of prayer. Solitary places that are Pride. And then purpose places, certain places. We find a place that we purpose to go to. Then we need to go to the place of his passion and meditate on and linger at the cross. Meditate on Calvary. And then we need to pass by the tomb. He didn't stay there long. And he didn't talk about it much. He talked about being resurrected. They talked about him being resurrected, not about him laying in the tent. Why? There's not much to talk about him. He's laying there on the tent. And then we need to go and look forward to the place that he has prepared for us. He's prepared a place. And you can get a taste of it now. You ever just think about heaven? You ever just think about spending time in the place of grace and the place of glory? As you go and just think about well, what's it going to be like to spend time with the Lord? Well, I can tell you how close you can get. Just tell you this. There is a place by man. That's what he says. It's the place of grace, the place of glory. When it's all said and done, he'll give you everything you need to satisfy every need you have. Amen. We are done early for some.